Hey everybody, Wally here. Welcome to episode 30 of Worth the Wait. Happy Holidays. I got a few games I want you to look at, so kick back, relax, and uh, sit with me for a moment and I'll show you some games that I think are worthy of your time, attention, and money. Let's get started. First up is Refuge by Fox Rogers. Two players, but only one survivor. Kind of the whole H1Z1, who will pull out of this alive dynamic, condensed down to its most purest form. You're on a remote, deserted island slash piece of civilization unknown to man and you're forced to either confront your opponent or out survive him between a battle of wits and exposure to the elements i've always been a fan of that outwitting the stranger the dangerous game uh, game model so check it out i think it's interesting and it deserves a little bit more attention than it's getting second up is uh tree hugger by mad labyrinth studios and it's a counter tower defense game where his you are a druid trying to take back the forest from an encroaching evil civilization by building a compound that generates the units that go against the towers. The towers are actually built and commandeered by the AI, and it's your job to knock them down. I have, I have a weak spot for tower defense games, especially tower defense games that kind of break the dynamic. And I love the aesthetic too, and I, the art and the color of the design is just phenomenal. And it's a little tongue-in-cheek too, you can tell from where they're going with it. So, And it's also something that's a bit more down-to-earth and friendly in the way it's being portrayed for multiple age demographics. Take it a look, see what you think. I think it looks like a lot of fun. Now last, but certainly not least, is Rumble Slam by TT Combat. Now, I am a huge Blood Bowl fan. I love the tabletop game. I love this idea of taking a fantasy motif and putting it on its head and making fun of it and throwing it into something unconventional. And this is about as unconventional, I think, as you can get. One-on-one uh, -on -one or a tag team, as well as, uh, I think, a bit more complex rule dynamics from there as well. I should also mention that it's uh, extremely fast-paced. Uh, game's about 40 minutes long, and no one's waiting to take a turn. There's always, like, constant, constant action, which is great for a game with that kind of pacing and style. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun, so take a look. I th normally, I don't go for uh, board stuff, but I always squeeze one in sometimes, and this is one of those exceptions. Well, you wasted another perfectly good few minutes listening to me talk about games that are even really in existence yet, but I hope they are interesting, and if you like them, check out their pages. The links are always in the video description and otherwise i wish you a happy holidays merry christmas happy new year if i don't see you before i put out my next video and of course check out the links over over here uh to nasty's videos as well as to uh, the latest podcast video thanks see you soon